I came to New York by way of Seattle, Washington, born in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I arrived in the New York area in 2002. Um, took up residence in the East Village, was looking for a studio space, found one in East Williamsburg, which at that point was sort of the fringe of the artist push uh, into Brooklyn. Uh, there was some activity in Bushwick, but in 2002, 2003, there wasn't as much, of course, as there is today. So in 2007, 2008, there was a, a big real estate crash here, um, felt the world round, and, uh, and in response, the collective Camel Art Space Artist Collective was born from that. Uh, and Camel Art Space as an exhibition space was born from that. We were open from 2009 to, th to 2012. We had close to 30 shows and exhibited over close to 250 artists in that time, which is a pretty good number for a space that had no budget. And then Parallel Art Space was the next step for two of the members, myself and Rob Daoud. So we split off. Um, because the building became sort of untenable. Our curatorial practice was parallel to our own art making uh, practice. We invest, there is an investment, time, energy, heart. So the dividend, the return on investment is, are those things that maybe, you know, if we're not selling paintings and I'm not getting my percentage, there is still a return on investment. There's still a dividend and uh, those things are, um, you know, knowing that I'm able to show a work of an artist that hasn't been seen or is underrepresented. Seeing connection between work, seeing connection between ideas, sort of being able to, 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 to connect the dots. This happens in one's own art practice, but it happens out in the world. If I'm seeing connections between artists, if I have two or three things and a pattern begins to emerge, that's a curatorial sort of muscle. And if I have it, I want to I wanna flex it. And so I think there is something creative to that. I think that is there is something generative about that.